Hey guys, it's Hannah here and it is time for another planner haul and I have lots of really cute stuff to share with you today and this will be the kind of haul where I film stuff over time because I have stuff on the way but I don't want to like build up a big pile on my desk that's gonna take up a lot of space so I'd rather like as I open packages film it right away or as soon as I can and then cut everything together afterwards. But yeah, I'm gonna try that for this video, so let's start! Okay, so first up, I want to share some super cute stuff with you. I was actually sent these adorable items from a brand new shop to me called Mochikichi. And these are exclusive and adorable, super cute and would I say kawaii themed stickers and stationery items and they were so kind to send me, I think this is actually from their Christmas bundle and they sent a lot more than I thought and I'm so thankful and now I'm just gonna show you what I got. So first there's just a little note from the owner and then I got a washi and I haven't actually opened it yet because I want to show you the packaging because I thought it was so cute but this looks to be adorable. So here's the washi tape. You don't get as much on it as I thought first. I think usually 10 meters is a standard for washi. I would guess this is 5 meters. Now I don't know what this retails for so usually the price reflects like how much you get but the stickiness seems really good. It's really sticky so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna like curl up or anything like that. I think it's gonna stay in place once you put it down and these are so cute. So this is like the character of this shop. The uh, which I guess the character's name is Mochikichi and it's so adorable. Totally gives me these like kind of kawaii Asian style, you know, characters. But this shop is actually from Canada, I believe. So cute. I'm definitely using this for this Christmas. But first you also see something kind of big here and it is actually a sticker album. And this is really awesome. I love sticker albums because, I mean, they're so practical. It's a great way to store your stickers organized and everything. And this is a Christmas themed one, so I'm definitely gonna use this one to store like all of my Christmas themed stickers. I don't have that many actually, but I guess my collection will probably grow over time, so it's good to have all of them in one place since Christmas is a very specific time and I mean I don't use it all year round, so it's good to keep them all in one place. So I'm so happy about this one. And then I got some small little goodies and these are just, ah, oh, I was so happy when I saw all of these. So first I got not one, but two sticky notes and these are adorable. I mean, I'm gonna say cute and adorable a lot of times during this. So I apologize in advance, but you have been warned. Here we have the character kind of dressed up as a little ginger man and wearing a Santa hat and it's adorable. Actually, it's the same one that's on here. Actually, it's kind of the same design overall. So it says Merry Christmas. I love the kind of very like faint kind of pastel green and red that we have the stripes. So I mean it is partly functional and partly cute because like almost half the sticky note is like just cute and then you can write stuff here but it's such a pretty and just cute item so just putting this in your planner or having it on your desk is just gonna you know brighten up your day at least for me. Then we have this one. This is a standard like square size sticky note. Also says Merry Christmas and like I said these are more decorative. You don't get that much space to write on and depending on like your what you like. I mean it's up to you if that's a problem or not. I like both. I mean I use different sticky notes for different things but if I use it mainly for decoration which these are probably gonna be for me then you know that's the way it is. But I still love it because these are adorable. I love it so much. And then I got some bookmarks and I feel like I actually think that these are vinyl stickers but I don't think I'm gonna take off the back. I think I'm gonna keep them this way and use as bookmarks. So here we have a stacked one and we also have these two. So this one says plan your Christmas with joy. I really like that. It's something I can definitely agree with and this one also says waiting for Santa and it almost looks like you can write stuff here. Maybe a wish list or something. This one says today and this one has the little Mochikichi character on top. These are so cute and bookmarks is a great way to you know organize your planner so I love to have those. 
And then I got even more like kind of vinyl sticker style like this material. It's so nice. It's so smooth and the print quality is great. I love it. So these are like really big kind of deco stickers or maybe die cuts depending on what you want to use them for. Once again, I'm probably not going to take the back off so that I can, you know, put them down and take them back and change between planners. So here's a little snow globe, says Merry Christmas. Here's like a little bobble with a bow saying warm wishes to you. So cute. Here's a little Christmas tree and <laughs> look, there's even like the little characters hanging in the tree. That's so adorable. And here we have once again the little character Ho 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 and kind of Santa down the chimney. So cute. I am putting all of this in my Christmas planner, no doubt. And then I got some more. I feel like I got so much stuff, guys. I feel so spoiled. So first there's these two. These are like kind of gift labels, I would say. So, I mean, it's from and to. Uh, and I got two of those. These are stickers. So you just easily pull those off and stick onto a gift to make it super cute. And hopefully it's going to make the person you're giving it to super happy too. And I love this. I got a December calendar. Like I love these little tiny calendars because you can stick in like, because you can stick them like, I like to put them in the pockets um, so that once I open the planner, it's super easy to just check, okay, the quick overview over this month. And this is December in this case. It doesn't say December, but I mean, it's holiday themed, so I'm pretty sure it is. And it's also that, this isn't a sticker, but it's that really nice, smooth quality and kind of cardstock paper. I love this. And once again, it's really high quality of the print as well. And last, but certainly not least, there's a bunch of stickers. So here's like one sticker sheet per day. And I guess this starts like, I think maybe 10 days. No, it's more, I don't know. Like half of December, I would say, almost. It's like one sticker sheet per day. So it start on the 17th. So there's a date cover on each and then you have both functional and decorative stickers here. And then you have the same, but different, of course, uh, for the next day. So you can just use these like one per day throughout, not the whole month, but for a good amount of days throughout December as Christmas gets closer and closer. Here even starts a countdown. I love this. This is such a clever idea. I've never seen anybody do this before. And these stickers are on regular matte, so they're not as high quality as the vinyl stickers, but then again, it's not vinyl, so it's kind of different, but they're still super nice. And I love the design and the style. It's so unique, I would say. Like you can really kind of distinguish this shop from others. Like it kind of stands out, I would say. And that's something I always appreciate because sometimes I get a little boring of everybody using the same stuff. So it's nice to see something new. And yeah, this was everything from Mochikichi. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for sending all this to me. I love it. I think it's all so cute and the quality is great. All right, so next up I have some really, really gorgeous Paper clips mostly from my friend Alicia of Blush Bow Boutique. Now I have shown this shop quite a few times before I think and that's because I love Alicia's stuff. I keep coming back. And she was part of, I can't, was it the PBC sale? I think it was. It was some sort of sale. So of course I had to take my chance. So I didn't go crazy this time but I did get a couple of things. So first, actually I think the main thing I was really excited about was this dangle. And listen to this. It actually, there's two little jingle bells kind of on here and they do sound a lot. And there's this red little like kind of pom-pom and this is definitely going into my Christmas planner for sure. And it's also on that kind of drop paper clip, which is kind of unique. It's gonna sound like Santa's coming every single time I open my planner and I'm actually super excited for it. So then I also got this resin rose paper clip. I always buy these like every single time she comes out with a new color. I have to get it. This one was called Cafe... Cafe Latte? Cafe Latte? How do you pronounce that even? Either way, it's this kind of beachish nude color and it's a really neutral one. I think it's gonna go great with a lot of setups. So yeah. Then I got a couple of bows. These are like kind of like her standard, the really big ones that I love. So I did get a festive red one. 
to kind of go with the red pom-pom here as you can see. These one also have gold glitter in the middle on a gold paper clip. I mean, it's just so Christmassy. I have to have it. And as I'm filming this, it's still very much fall, but I'm really starting to get the Christmas feels already. So I'm really excited to set my Christmas planner up. And I also did get this one. And this one I had in plan to get. But when I saw it, I was like, that's actually a really good one. It's a plain black one with actually black glitter in the middle. So it's all black on a gold paper clip. And then I got these two. And these are, they're not exactly the same, I would say, as her signature double bow paper clips. I feel like these are a little bit smaller than the ones that I always think of her when I see this style because it's kind of unique to her, I would say. Either way, I got this one and this one I am going to use in a specific setup soon. This video might already be up depending on when this haul goes live. Either way, it's a dark navy blue, super pretty on gold. I also got this one and this one was also kind of a spontaneous buy. It's like some pink roses on white and we also have the little leaves there. This one is also on a gold paper clip. I feel like this one could be really useful too in different setups. And yeah, I just, I love everything. But that's not it actually because Alicia was so kind to send me a bunch of extras. And I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but she sent a bunch of really pretty and cute stuff. So first there's this really awesome, I think it's like a sample pack from different shops. And unless it says on, you know, the item, I won't be able to tell maybe where everything's from. But first there's this super pretty kind of acetate die cut. It's gold foil on clear, as you can see. So I think this is going to make a really awesome layering piece. Then we have a little sampler here. I'm just gonna go through these quickly. I think I really like this one. The colors are really nice. Then we have this one. And let's see, there's this one from Pla Oh, Planner Face. She has super pretty stuff. I love these colors. And here's another one. This is also really nice fall colors. And this made me so excited because I actually forgot to pick this up when I shopped this time around she has started selling stickers herself you know blush bow boutique and she came up with this one and as you can see it says hallmark christmas movie and this is definitely a christmas guilty pleasure of mine i love watching hallmark movies especially their christmas ones and this is just so fun and such a fun idea to actually mark that and put in your planner. And you get a lot of them on here. So I can watch a lot of Hallmark movies this year and I can mark it every single time. That's just awesome. I can't believe I forgot to pick this one up. But I'm so grateful to Alicia who actually sent this one to me anyway. I did kind of express a lot of love about it on Instagram though. So she kind of knew already that I was going to love it. So thank you so much. All right, so continuing on the kind of planner accessory theme, I have some more paper clips here, and these are from my unicorn planner. Now, this is a UK shop, and she has super high quality paper clips, and I'm so happy about that because for a long time it's mainly been American shops that have done kind of paper clips, so I'm so happy about this. But first, I picked up this another navy blue paper clips. This is like a glitter. Kind of, kind of reminds me of suede, the material. I'm pretty sure it's not real though. It's probably faux, faux suede. But I love the color, love the glitter. It's super nice touch. Once again, this one is meant for a specific setup I have, which you might have seen already depending on when this video goes up. Um, I did also pick up this one. This is a little super cute ghost one on hollow vinyl. I think it's vinyl. With a pink bow and pink cheeks. I mean, how could you resist that? Now, I personally don't really celebrate Halloween, but I couldn't resist this paper clip. I think it is too, too cute. And then I got some animal themed ones. And this is kind of what I came for mainly because I just fell in love with these. I think they are so cute. So most of them are on hollow except this one. So I guess I, I can take this one first. So here we have the owl, which is on kind of a, it's not hollow, but it is like a glitter gold, copper gold, I would say. And all of them, what they have in common is kind of the eyelashes, like kind of closed eyes with eyelashes. I just think it gives it a very cute and sophisticated slash kind of chic look. So it's cute, but still chic, which a lot of times that's really hard to combine, I feel like, but I think this kind of did it. So I, I feel like I can put these in a like very kind of kawaii themed setup, but also in a more 
sophisticated setup. I think it's gonna work either way, which I'm really happy about. I got the owl. I think owls are awesome, so I couldn't resist that. I also got the fox one, which is very, like, usually fall-oriented. This is on a gold hollow, which is pretty unique. I also got the bear one with the pink bow, which is so cute. And this one is also on gold hollow. And I got the bunny one. This one is on regular like silver hollow with the bow. I love it so much. I think it's so cute. And I also got the squirtle. And this is not gold. This is more like copper or kind of brown, but it's also a hollow effect on that. I think all of these are just like the materials are really cool what she uses and they're so such high quality. I love it. And I can't wait to have them in my planner. So, so happy. All right, so next up, cute more planner accessories. I guess I've been shopping a lot of planner accessories lately, huh? So I have a small order from Dottie Moo. I actually have another one on the way, which is probably gonna be included in this haul video as well. But I'm starting with what I have so far. So she had a sale, I think. Maybe not 50%, but it was some sort of sale on her magnetic bookmark. So I got some bow ones, which I always enjoy. So first I got this kind of glitter, pink glitter one, which look at that, it's so pretty. And it's just, you know, magnetic like that you could put as a page marker. I also got a lighter pink glitter one. Look at that glitter, that's awesome. These are different though. This is like a vinyl material. It's kind of glossy as you can see, and this one doesn't have that. So. The glitter doesn't really fall off, but it kind of you can feel the texture of the glitter, which you can't on this one. I also got a regular gold one. I do have like a vinyl style gold one. This one looks more leather, but I I mean it is full leather, but it kind of looks like leather. And it's just regular gold, which is a color I use a lot, so it's gonna get used a lot for sure. Then this is kind of what I came for, the main thing I wanted, which are these dangles. And these are so pretty. These are fall themed and these are also meant for specific setups I'm gonna do. So it's a little pumpkin. These are actually pretty heavy weight. Like these are like metal, these pumpkins. So I feel like these, these feel really high quality. But you see the detail on the, the pumpkin? So there's a little gold leaf there and there's even like some... I don't even know what you call that, but I mean, it's like curly stuff that that's kind of typical for a pumpkin. And then we have this little extra kind of pearls or beads that kind of matches as well. Look at that, it's just so pretty. And it's the same with this one, which is kind of a bluish gray, I would say. Kind of a steel color. And it's just with gold once again. And this one has clear beads. I think these are so chic and pretty and they're gonna go perfect with this setup and I'm so excited to do it. So it is a couple of days later and I am here to share some more stuff with you guys. And first up, I have another order from Dori Moo and I saved the packaging. This tissue paper is so pretty with the gold foiling, I love it. But I got some more clips. So my second order from Dari Moo came in and I got some more clips, mostly bow clips as you can see, but I will show you the non-bow item first and it is this magnetic bookmark and it is of a maple leaf as you can see and it is rose gold kind of foiled metallic, it's gorgeous. Once again this is going right into my fall planner. And the rest are bow clips, as you can see. So I did get another one for fall, which is a brown one. This is a kind of, I would say medium brown. It's not too dark, not too light. Perfect for fall on a wide gold paper clip and gold glitter in the middle. I think it's so pretty. And once again, I'm pretty sure this one is going right into my fall planner as well. And then I got this one, which is a plaid one. I think this is buffalo plaid with a red and black with black glitter in the middle. Also a classic for fall. This one I'm not as sure of where to put it, but since it's red, I might actually put it in a Christmas themed planner, but we'll see. But I felt like this is such a classic and I needed it in my collection. I also got this one. This is more of a all year round one. I would say it's a black and white hound's tooth with black glitter in the middle. And then these two I was the most excited about because I felt like these were so unique. So it's a light pink as well as a black bow. But as you can see, the ribbon is actually like, I was about to say see-through, but it's more like, like it holes all over it. So you like see, well, right through it. But I thought I've never seen anything like this before. I'm not sure how it's gonna look like in my setups, but I felt like it was so unique and I really liked the look. So she had two different colors at the time, so I got both of them. 
All right, so the next things are actually something that was sent to me once again, and this time it is from a new to me shop called the Sticker Jungle, and this is a shop based in Portugal, and I think that is so awesome because I love to find new European shops since I live in Sweden, which is in Europe as well. And they have these two super cute characters. We have Benjamin the penguin as well as Piper the panda, and they are so cute. I believe they are exclusive designs made by the owners which I always appreciate as well. And I also got a little sticker here so I can put on my reward card and I can always collect more. And the packaging of everything was so cute. So I got a little note from them as well since they sent this to me. But I just wanted to show you, I love the handwriting from this shop. I don't know, I think it's two girls who are the owners. Yeah, that's right. So their names are Madalena and Mariana, I believe. And this handwriting is so dainty and cute. I wish I could have pretty handwriting like this. It's just, I love it. I also love the paper that they wrote it on. It's so cute. They also sent along some super cute washi samples. I love that it's like blue and turquoise themed. And moving on to the actual stuff that they sent me and the order. So this is so cute, by the way. I love it. It's all so cute. All right, so here's just a little sample of what they offer. So I believe these are freebies. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Even the samplers are like in the shape of the characters, Piper and Benjamin, and that's just adorable. I think this one has to be my favorite though, because it has the most pink on it. And we have a little notebook and a Tombow pen, and then we have Benjamin, a little planner, and here we have some more functional stuff and deco stuff on the Piper one as well. And even like the tiny leaves and the carrots up here are also stickers. So you actually get a lot more stickers on this one than on this one, but I love them both. Then here are the stickers. So here's one for like washi addicts like me. We have a big stack of washi and some washi cards. Here we have like happy mail or maybe snail mail sending or receiving. I, I think you can use it for either way. And then we have one here. This is like emojis, I think, of Piper. And I think like emoji... I get. I mean, you call them kind of emoji stickers. You can use them for like, like track your mood or, or if you're in a certain mood, it's kind of fun to put that in your planner too. So I love these. And we have one here, which is like, this is Benjamin and he's, I think sending happy mail maybe. So if you love to send snail mail, I think this one is perfect for you. Here's Benjamin with bunch of washi again in different poses, so cute. And here we have Piper the Panda. Oh, and it's like flower themed. So this is actually great because I am not very good at taking care of my plants. So this is a good reminder to take care of them and water them and all that stuff. So that's great. Such cute stuff. This shop is so cute and I definitely recommend it if you want to try something new. And I also want to mention that since you are watching this video, you can also get a coupon code for this sticker jungle. If you use the code HAVEN20, you can get 20% off your order with a minimum purchase of 10 euro or $12. And this code is valid for the rest of the year, so throughout 2018, and I definitely recommend that you use it and take advantage of that. So yeah! And then I have another order I've been so excited about. It is from a new favorite of mine, Inspired Life Studios. And this is a shop owned by three girls from California and they design all exclusive stuff. And I mean, they're so talented. I love everything that they do. And they are kind of known for their super pretty washi. I did actually film a haul of their like first washi collection a while ago. <laughs> But that haul, like that entire haul, I filmed of a lot of different stuff. My SD card acted up, so I lost all the footage, which is really sad. So I don't have that to share with you, but I can share this and hopefully I will be able to this time. So maybe first I should show you, this is their kind of, it's kind of a backing card mostly, I think, to protect the stuff, but it's also just a really pretty, you know, card to put, live, create, and inspire. It's like, I love this. It's kind of my motto in life. And here's just a little info about them. And yeah, I love their stuff so much. So first, the, the, the washi collection that was new and limited edition and that I was so excited about, I think the most out of this release that they had, was the Sugar Rush collection. And this is it. It is a three-parter, I guess, three different washies. And first, we have this super cute, like, scalloped one, pink scalloped with hollow 
foiling and it's kind of little sprinkles and hearts and it's so cute and I love it so I love that one and now we have a bow and this is the kind of design of bow that they have at least one of them it also has hollow foiling and this is not just two-way ombre it's actually a three-way ombre it starts with pink to purple to turquoise or aqua so pretty and last but not least, this might be my favorite. It is the girls one. And I love their girls. It's so cute. I think it is inspired by the three sisters themselves. So we have three different girls. One which is mint, one pink, and one purple. And it's little like bonbon candies in between and some sprinkles. And there's foiling once again. And I love it so much. I'm pretty sure none of these washes are available anymore though because it was limited edition and I'm really sad to say but I think they sold out pretty quick since I mean it's so pretty but I definitely recommend that you follow Inspired Life Studios on Instagram to be able to snag from the next release. Also with the Sugar Rush we have the matching bows and these are just like plain on one single color but they're also hollow foiled and it goes perfectly with this which I love. Then we had another collection which is called Star Girls and it is like galaxy kind of themed and inspired. So first we have the bow once again this is like a classic. I also love the quality of the wash that they have. I love the hollow and something I didn't actually notice until I rolled it out was that there are little stars in the background of this. How cute is that? And it fades from like a light pink to purple. A pretty dark purple actually but it's so pretty. And then we have like the constellations one which is also hollow foil. This does remind me a lot of the Simply Gilded one but this is kind of a little bit chunkier, a little cuter. And you can actually see like the actual star shapes and I think it's so cute. And this is on pink and I love that. And last but not least we have the girls once again. God I love the girls. And it has both stars and constellations and ombre and girls. And even they have like foiling in their hair. I think it's so awesome. I love this one. So gorgeous this collection. And of course we also have the matching mini bows. I believe these are like one centimeter or I guess 10 millimeter ones. So we have a light pink one, kind of light pinkish purple, a dark purple and a pink, which you can see goes perfectly with this once again. And then there was a not really mystery item, but kind of because there were two different colorways that you could get and it was a surprise and I actually got the one that I wanted. It's like they read my mind and I'm so happy about it. So this is a pink ombre to a kind of green. It's actually really similar to the green in the... Actually, maybe it's the same. I think it's kind of the same, actually. The, the, these two are from the Sugar Rush collection and we have the pink and the green, but I really like these shades. I, there was another option where this was more aqua than green. But I already have a Simply Gilded washi that is both, which is like pink and aqua. So I felt like I wanted the green more because this was more unique in my collection. So, and I got that one and I'm so happy about that. And also they are really good at sending like little surprise items with your order. So because it was like packaged in two different sets, I got two of these cards. But I also got this. And I'm not really sure about this. It sounds like they made a mistake or something, but they didn't make a mistake in my order. Maybe it's a bigger issue I'm not aware of. But either way, I'm so happy because I got this and it's a super cute washi card. Look at this. And it's like laminated on really thick, like uh, laminating sheets. So it's really thick and sturdy, which I love too. And I love the color of this. It's so cute. It's gonna look so great with my Sugar Rush collection, don't you think? So yeah, I love Inspired Life Studios. If you haven't checked them out yet, I highly, highly recommend you to. All right, so then I got some more cute goodies here from Miss Caramel and I love her shop. I think she has so many cute stuff and I especially love her character Peachy, which you'll see a lot of here. But first I have the freebies in this little creative kind of envelope packaging style. I love it so much and First, I believe this one was included in every single order. I think this is a new character and it's like a peach and I think she named her Momo. But I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that. And look, she sits on top of a camera, which is like perfect for me since I use a camera a lot. I also got this freebie and these are printed on really nice premium matte. There's a bunch of girls doing different things. And then we have this freebie, which I believe was like a $30 plus 
and I think my order was exactly $30, so I was so lucky to get this one. I really wanted it. I ordered this during the PBC sale in September, by the way, so that's why there were like a lot of exclusive freebies and stuff. But this is like a, I don't know if you, it's not really a vending machine. What would you call it? It's like, you know, one of those claw things, you can grab things. Either way, I think it's so cute. And I mean, it's actually stickers. Like these things are stickers that you can use. Uh, I think I'm mostly gonna use this just as decoration because it's too darn cute, but I love it. And then also we have the rewards card. I already have a couple of these since I've ordered before. Then we have the main thing in my order. She released a bundle that she called the Peachified Pink Bundle, featuring, of course, Peachy here, which is one of my favorite characters of all time. I think she's so cute. Here she's just on a stack of macarons, which I love. And I love the quote here as well. Always look on the pink side of life. You know, I love pink. So of course, this was definitely for me. And there was a little cute sticker here too. I love Peachy. And I mean, look at this envelope. Even the envelope is Peachy themed. It's amazing. And in here we have all the cute stuff. So... I mean, just look at this. It's amazing. I can't get over how cute this is. So there were a bunch of stuff in this bundle, but first something I was so excited about was this paperclip. And it's even better than I thought because it's like on a thick, a really thick plastic. It's like one of those plastics that like, it's kind of matte and I don't know how to call it, but it's, it's really sturdy. It's gonna, you know, stand the test of time really. And it's so cute with the bow. I love it. And then there was a little sampler of peachy washi. I actually have this full roll already, so, but I love it. So I never mind to have more. And this is really fun. This is a little sticker booklet with peachy emojis. So it's a bunch of facial expressions of peachy. So first we have like smiling, happy peachy. Here we have super happy peachy, which I love. Here we have peachy in love and sad. Oh, and here we have crying and here's angry. Here's even more angry. And let's see, this is surprised and here's sick. You know, we all feel, or I mean, we all get sick sometimes. So that's a good one. Um, and here's tired. Yeah. I re like I said, I think these emoji stickers are really fun. And then, I mean, all of this stuff is so cute. It's so me. I love it. We have some die cuts here. So first there's Peachy with some washi. Actually quite a lot of washi. Then we have Peachy and a backpack. This is perfect if you're in school. Or just going on a road trip or, uh, well, anything where you need a backpack really. And then we have Peachy loving coffee and the macaron one, which is probably my favorite. Then we have a couple of journaling cards and I love these because it kind of creates a whole scene with Peachy, which I think is so fun. Both of these are adorable. Let me know which one is your favorite because I can't decide. Then we have some stickers on that lovely premium mat once again. I love it so much. We have some full boxes here. And this is a quote one that says, in a cookie cutter world, be a macaron, which I think is adorable. I love these. And here's some more functionals. And here's just a bunch of deco of peachy. I love it. I love it. And last but not least, there's this super, super cute, like, postcard, but it's like printed on photo paper, so it's really high quality. And it says, I believe in unicorns, which is so cute. I love Peachy and I love Miss Caramel, so all of this makes me so happy. All right, guys, so I just got a super exciting package. Actually, not just just because, well, I have kind of used it. As you can see, I have my new Happy Scrappy Jumbo albums, and these are amazing. I am so in love. And as you can see, I've actually already stuffed them both. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I've been so anxious to get these because I haven't had a proper way to store my kits and bigger sticker sheets. It's been kind of difficult for me. Uh, I've like had all of them in a box and it's been very difficult to well organize because they haven't really been organized at all. So when Sam released these, I knew I had to get them. I only got two though because I wanted to kind of see how they were and how well they actually did fit. So these were my two favorites. I got the Scribble Prince Co collab. This one is gorgeous with the foiling. Yeah, I love this one. And I also got the once more with love collab. All these pastel colors make me so happy. It is so cute. Also, they came super well packaged. They came in this, actually I have to zoom out for this, in this ginormous envelope. And they each had this really thick cardstock. 
because um, they were laying flat. Uh, they were packaged and they both had that in this, like I said, ginormous envelope, which was just perfect. And I'm just so happy. So just to show you a little bit kind of how I have, I have just put here on my, um, let's see, Hello Petite Paper, yeah, my Hello Petite Paper kits. Um, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go through all of it. I actually put one kit per sleeve because for me that kind of made the most sense and would be easiest for me to find. Um, I also I just I actually haven't stuffed all. They are super stuffed. Like they are kind of too stuffed. But as you can see, I still have sleeves that I haven't used and that's because i put like one kit per sleeve i pretty much if i stuff it to the brim and use every single sleeve it's probably gonna look like this and to me it's gonna be a little difficult to store like in my shelf where i have my album so i'd rather wait and get another album so that i don't have to stuff these too much i'm actually gonna take some of the stuff out of these two once i get another album now i know that they're perfect um but I just wanted to mention that I'm so happy also. Um, these are such high quality. Like, I feel like Sam has really upped her game uh, with these. Like, the foiling, you can actually feel the foiling. It's that kind of, like, I don't know, like, dented. I don't know. It feels... It just feels really good. And the, like, matte, smooth cover as well. The sleeves feel like they're actually high quality, too. They're kind of clearer and glossier somehow they feel just better and higher quality and not that nothing like her other albums have been high quality and great too this is just better which is amazing and hard to believe um and also look at this there's a little happy scrappy stamp like at the back here that's so cute like i said these albums are amazing if you didn't get your hands on any of these. I hope you will be able to catch them next time. I know I will have to get more because like I said, I kind of need more based on how much I fill these right away of just everything I already owned. And I do actually have a coupon code for Happy Scrappy. Sadly, you can't use that on albums or her kits, but it is Hannah's Haven 10 anyway. So if you order anything from the Happy Scrappy website, apart from kits and albums, you can use that code and get 10% off. So that's pretty awesome too. All right, so I got some more happy mail today and that is from Pendulum. I did order from the newest release, which is the Gorgeous Wine Collection. Now, I don't drink and that includes wine as well, but I just loved these colors and they were gold. And I'm a sucker for everything gold, so when Pangems come out with new gold hardware pens, I just have to get them pretty much or I will regret it. It's happened before, trust me. <laughs> so I don't remember all the names exactly. I know they weren't wine related, so it doesn't really matter to me personally, but we have... Okay, so these two are pretty similar, but they are different, which you can probably tell. I'm trying to hold so it doesn't glare too much. So we have these two like darker kind of pinkish pens. We have this one, which is a really deep... The crystals are really deep red. And the barrel is kind of a dark pinkish tone red as well. Then we have this one, which is very similar, but in this one we have different colored crystals. They are like mixed different lighter and darker shades of purple. And this barrel is also like more of a purple. It is kind of a pinkish purple, I would say, but comparing the two, this is more like a red and this is more of a purple in comparison. And here's the crystals on top, which are very similar too, actually, but... This one is a lot more red and this one is more purple once again. I'm trying to show you a different angle so you can see. It's gorgeous. These are really unique, especially this one. It's going to be pretty unique in my collection. I do have one, I think it's Havana Cabana, that's a little bit to this colorway, but not so dark and not so reddish. Uh, but this one is pretty unique in my collection and they're so pretty. And I also got this one is, well, they weren't, they were actually sold separately, but they were kind of from, I mean, they were kind of a collection. Um, and this one, <clears throat> This one I do know the name because I think this one is to brie or not to brie. And I'm just call this I just call this one brie because it's easier that way. But this one is my favorite from this collection, and I don't think it's gonna do you justice on camera, but it is white, you would see. But I actually have here my other white pan gems in comparison. This one Gosh, I always forget the names. It's a rare coincidence if I actually remember the names, but this is 
a pretty old one. Uh, this was one of the first pendulums I got and this is the new Brie one. You can see this one is like a crisp all white uh, and the Brie one is more of an off cream white. I hope you can see that difference. This one is definitely more crisp white and this one is more cream off white. Almost with a tint, like pink tint, I would say. But maybe that's just the off creaminess to it. But the crystals, you can definitely tell the difference, I would say. So this one has just regular white or kind of clear crystals. Where this one actually has like iridescent cream crystals. And it's so gorgeous. They shine in all different colors. It's so pretty. And on the top, you can see also this one has an iridescent... That's almost like a gold colored crystal, honestly. It blends in really well. Uh, this one is just a white one. So yeah, they're quite different. But I would have to say out of these two, I definitely like Brie the best. I think this one is so gorgeous. I love the iridescent crystals. These three together are so pretty too. But yeah, Brie is my favorite. I love that one. And while I was shopping at Pendulums, I also picked up this one because I think this was um, back in stock. This is, I believe this one is called After Party and it was released with the, oh gosh, what was the collection called? I know I have the all gold one, which is, like I said, I can't remember any of the names. But either way, this is an all rose gold themed pen. So the berry is rose gold, the crystal is rose gold, the crystals inside are also like rose gold colored so it's all rose gold and I've been wanting this one for a while but it was out of stock but then it was back and now I had the chance to get it so I did. I also got refills for each of them like you always do with pen gems. and this is the card I got with a little Pippin paper clip. This time it says you're so smart I bet you do crossword puzzles in ink. And this one, because it was kind of the wine collection, I got this kind of vinyl sticker. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this one. Like I said, I don't drink, so this one doesn't really mean anything to me. But either way, pen gems never disappoint. They're so gorgeous and I love them. All right, so it's been about a week, I think, since I filmed my last little, well, pieces of this haul. And I have received quite a few more packages. And first up, I have my winter tea and kit from Hello Petite Paper. And can I just say, at first I wasn't entirely sure to get this because I wasn't really sure how I was gonna use it because I hadn't really, I didn't really have a plan. A lot of times when I buy stuff, I already have a plan on how to use it. This time I didn't. I bought it anyway because I love the designs and I figured, you know, I'll figure something out. And then I received it and I felt that, okay, I have to use this. I have to make this work somehow because this is too beautiful. Okay, so there's a bunch of little things here. But first there's the insert. I chose B6 because most of the TNs I have and use are B6. But yeah, this is just a regular, very tiny kind of dot grid. It is dot grid, but it's... I feel like the dots are kind of close together. Not that that's a bad thing. I don't think... To me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I love this design. I love the kind of pale baby pink and the whites and the blues. It's all... I mean, it's so pretty. I love the pastels. Then we have the little die cuts here and little elements, I guess you could call it. And they're actually different from last month, I believe. Because they're actually printed on like a glossy photo paper and the print quality is great. So first there's this little hot cocoa cup saying cozy. I love that. Now we have a pair of Uggs. Grey Uggs, if you can't see. I hope you can. Then we have this little kind of greyish blue hat. And then we have this pink bow. We have this beautiful kind of flower vase. We have this little snow globe with the trees and the bow, so cute. And we have this kind of bow bookmark with a grayish blue, white, pale pink, and kind of a minty green color. So pretty, I love that. Oh, and also we have the cards here. And it actually came with not two, but actually I think it was, yes, four cards. Oh, and here's also the stickers that came. These are the tab stickers that you can use when you make dividers. But these are the cards. So the first one here I think is my favorite. I love this one. It says Hello Winter in gold foiling. It has a pink background and look, it even has little stars. You see that? All the pretty designs all around it. I'm absolutely in love. And the back is gorgeous too. Then we have this blue bow one with the dots. I am in love with all of these cards and I have to make them work. Like this one, I mean, you could use all year round. So that's good. And same with 
this one. I really want to use this all year round because they're just too pretty not to. And the back of that is super pretty too with the pink and the snowflakes. Then we have this pink one with more stars and the snow globe. I love this. I love all of this. I could say it all over and all over again. And here's some bows. And here is a really pretty gray one that says, let's stay home. And that's pretty much, well, kind of me all year round, but especially during winter, it's extra nice not to have to drive anywhere because the roads in Sweden get really icy and dangerous. So staying home is the safest thing. And that's the back, gorgeous laurels. I really love that we got so many cards this time because I love to use these in setups for dashboards or just decorating my dividers. So these are just so fun. And then last but not least, we have the actual papers, which is the biggest thing in every tea and kit from Hello Petit Paper. So this first one is kind of my favorite pattern that was on, well, the card. You kind of see it's the same here. It's gorgeous. I love all these little wintry themed items. Then we have the back of that. Oh, it's actually not the same as the card. So it varies. I love that. And then we have these bows. And that's, oh, that floral is gorgeous. And then we have, oh my gosh, even more bows on pink. And the bows themselves are white. And that's the back. Then we have the snow globes. And we have some flowers. And the back is this gorgeous pattern. And then I think this is a mistake because I actually got two of this paper. I believe it's supposed to be five papers total, which is which it is with this one. But then I have a sixth paper here, so... I think that was a mistake. Um, not that I mind because having more is not a bad thing, but that's the back of that. I love those pink snowflakes and the mittens and the hats. It's so cute and it's just the same with this one. Hello Petite Paper. I think her papers are honestly my favorite because the quality is awesome. It's kind of semi-glossy. Um, and they're also printed on A4, which is perfect for me when since I use A5 planners the most, so I just cut them in half and it works perfectly. So I'm so happy to have gotten this one as well. And you will for sure see me using this one really soon, hopefully. <laughs> And then I have another little order here from Once More With Love. And I think this was sent together. This little ribbon saying Once More With Love on a peach color together with these gorgeous foiled seals. I think these were sent because kind of leading up to Christmas, you, you can use this to wrap something. Or if you bought some of these things as gifts, you actually have something to wrap it with, which is really nice. I actually didn't buy any gifts. I I guess they're gifts. It's for myself. It's gifts for myself. Um, and it's pretty small order. She didn't have a lot available in the shop at this time because she mainly had the shop open, I think, for this wash. At least I think for most people, this is the main thing they wanted. It is the Once More With Love and Simply Gilded collab uh, bow washi. And this one goes from a kind of warm toned gray ombre to a pink with a silver bow. I think this is a really unique combo, but it's actually gorgeous and I love it. I think it's gonna fit actually really great in like wintery spreads because it's kind of more cold and it feels a little more, but then with the gray, it's kind of more, you know, a little cozy too. And the pink, I love the pink. So yeah, I'm really happy about this one. Just had to get it. Oh, and here's the little freebie sampler I got too. Just some cute little items there. And then I did pick up some other things while I was ordering. And she had these. These were new. And these are actually nail kind of stickers. I guess nail art stickers. I haven't really used these a lot, but I do paint my nails sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, but when I do, I, I try to make them look nice. And this is a really easy way to make them look kind of that little extra, you know, and not just painting them, but actually adding something to them. And this is a Scribble Prince Co collab because we have the Scribble Prince Co um, bow and then we have the Once More With Love bow. So, and they're on silver and they're clear. So it's gonna look super pretty, I'm sure. And then also this was the card that I got, which is perfect. I actually cut this down a little bit because first it was a little damaged from the trip from Canada to Sweden. Um, and secondly, it, it's a B6 size, and but I want to put this kind of in my winter A5 and it was easier to cut it down, especially on the sides. So it's naturally a little bigger than this, but the last thing I got was kind of a spontaneous buy and it's actually a pin. Now I don't collect pins and I'm 
almost trying not to get, get into it too much because I know you can spend a lot of money on those if you want to. Um, I have kind of a lot of obsessions as it is. I'm trying to kind of stay away from new ones, but this one spoke to me and I just could not resist. Like, I kind of related too much to this not to get it, if you know what I mean. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I just needed it in my life and now I have it. So I'm really happy about that. And then I finally got my order. I say finally because I feel like it's taken a while to get to me. My latest regular Simply Gilded order that's not like a box order. And it's with a kind of Christmas washi. Well, it is Christmas, but it's not just Christmas stuff in here. But I did get these. These are the mini bows, the kind of Christmas or holiday themed trio. We have dark green, red and white with all hot gold foiling. My favorite type of foiling. And then, of course, I had to get the candy cane bows. I mean, they're just so cute and perfect for the holidays. So I could not resist with the hot gold too. I love that. And then, of course, I did have to pick up the Simply Gilded and Pigeon Paper Co. collab. I'm not sure I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I picked up both sets, both the regular and the skinny. Actually, I did this. So I did get the card that I think everybody got this card, but I wasn't sure. A lot of times there are different cards available and a lot of times I don't get the one that I want, which is very unfortunate, but this time this is the card. I really wanted this card and I did get it and it's so pretty and pink and gold and I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so I did do this on the back, so I'm not gonna roll those out for you guys, but first we have this one. I believe this is the kind of... I think this is the spring one because these are kind of the seasons of the year kind of seasons themed washi. So this is spring with the bunnies. It's gorgeous. Then I believe we have fall, which are these. And then we have the winter, which with the owls, it's so pretty. And then we have, this is summer, I think. I didn't really put them in the right order, I realized. Um, not that that really matters, but these are also gorgeous. So all of the illustrations are by Pigeon Paper Co. And my goodness, guys, I haven't actually bought anything from her, but it's all gorgeous. Her stuff is just beautiful. And she's also, I mean, she designed and drew the bunnies. They're so cute. She's so talented. Like these washes are honestly a work of art. They are beautiful. And just all the details, like imagine just drawing all that. It must have taken forever, but it's so beautiful. And I'm so happy to have these beautiful pieces in my collection. They're gonna have to be like kind of a standout piece once I actually, you know, use them in my planner because I mean, they are such a standout piece on their own. So I feel like mixing them with too much stickers would kind of ruin it or take away kind of from their own beauty. I don't know, that sounds really deep when I realize, but that's kind of how I feel because they're just so gorgeous. I mean, they honestly feel like a work of art. And I'm so happy I was able to get them. Okay, so moving on with more. Okay, I also wanted to just show you that I managed to open my package successfully without ripping the bunny at all. She's all intact. I'm probably just gonna throw this away anyway because, I mean, you do get these with every single order. And I do have the seals. Like, I have bought them on their own, so I have really no reason to save this. But I was proud of myself for being able to do that, so I just wanted to show that. And... <laughs> I did also pick up some, oh, oh, also, this is the um, freebie bow sticker I got. It's a rose gold and kind of deep green color. It's super pretty. I did pick up some magnets because these were new releases too. I picked up this pale pink with lots of sparkles in it and it is on rose gold hardware and it is gorgeous. I love these bows. I actually put them on my Rascal cart or my magnetic inspiration board. And this one, actually, this is the red and gold, perfect for the festive season. And this one I'm actually thinking I should put on my fridge because, or I could put it on my Rascal cart on the top as like a Christmas decoration maybe. And because I ordered, you know, some Christmas stuff, I couldn't, I felt like I had to get the Christmas themed bow seals as well. So we have the reds, the white, the greens, and the kind of candy cane ones. I think this one is my favorite. It is so fun. All right, so then I have some stuff here from Wanted in a Million. These I ordered a, a long time ago, I feel like, because I actually thought that they would come in time for Halloween, because it was possible. I think it was like a couple weeks before Halloween. That's why I ordered the 
Halloween washi here, as you can see, and I got it kind of in the middle of November, so kind of late for Halloween. Uh, either way, I'll just have to save this one for next year, but this is kind of a candy corn washi with silver hearts, and I, I, actually, I actually love candy corn. I think they're really tasty, so I didn't really get any kind of themed ones with the dim sum. I really like her accent washes, because these you can use with any spread, even if you... If you're not using her stickers, you can still use this, I feel like. And same with this one. I love this one. This is the kind of confetti washi that goes with her birthday washi. But once again, I picked up this one on its own. I do have this one already, but I wanted to get another one because um, I love this one. I love the pastels. I love the hollow. I've used it a lot, actually, and I don't want to run out, so I got it back up. And then I did get this one. This one I just felt like I had to get because, I mean, it's Planner Girl themed. It, it's a Planner Girl themed washi, and it's like gold confetti. You see the stickers, you see the kind of Planner Nerd with the glasses, and the pan, even the pan like a little dumpling on it. It's so cute. These are, and there's the washi. You see that? These are absolutely gorgeous. And the bow, I could go on forever. It's a lot of designs on here. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I love the colors. I mean, white, pink, gold, it all works. It all works and I love it. This one, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. So super happy about that. So that's the washies I got. And then this is a beautiful packaging too. I think she's changed it a little since, um, last time because my other ones have looked a little different. I love this one. So yes, um, this was the freebie, little sh sticker sheet freebie that I got, which have some really fun stuff on it. And then I got some stickers, of course. And she has upgraded her stickers to a super nice, actually, I'm not even sure what I should call this. It, it is matte. It's not glossy as you can see, but it's not really premium matte. It's kind of smoother than that. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's awesome. I love this. And I feel like the print quality is much better too, which is amazing. So this is the kind of, to the Planner Girl washi, we kind of have the Planner Girl themed stickers. Love these. So I got two. <laughs> and then I have more of, I think I have this one from before, but this is the kind of sticker addict or something. Um, yeah, planner themed as well. Then she had foil stickers and as you can see I actually picked up not one and not two but three of the same. I picked gold foil on all of them. Maybe they were... I don't know if you could pick foiling. If you could I did pick all gold as you can see but this is just like emojis with dim sum. They're so cute and that's the super cute backing to that. I feel like Cynthia of Wanton in a Million, she has improved so much since I first started shopping with her and it's just so fun to see. So this also went with, I think, I think maybe it was a bundle, like the Planner Girl bundle. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I did pick it, pick it up separately, but there's also this sticky note pad. I love this one with the pen and the girl and you actually get a lot of space to write on too, which is awesome. Love these colors. And then I got a bunch of really fun little like die cuts. And these are like the kind of dumpling with different hats on her. And I thought these were adorable. So this is like a little cheetah hat. Here's a little doggy hat. We have a little kitty hat. We have a panda hat. And last but not least, this is kind of a, almost a collab with Simply Gilded because it's supposed to be her little bunny juniper there with the Simply Gilded bow. So, so cute. And then she also had these seals, which I also picked up. So they're like holographic foiling. I have the dumpling seals and the wonton seals. So pretty. I love to use these because they don't, they're really thin, so they don't really bulk up anything. And you can just layer them and add to stuff and it makes it really fun. And I love the colors. And I mean, her characters are so cute. So how could you ever resist, honestly? And this backing is super fun and gorgeous too. 